Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I want to share a cool teaching tip about working with circuits. So let's get cracking. So, friends, whenever one of your students is working in Tinkercad, they have always got the ability to invite people to check out their project. This creates a link that you can generate and send. Now, we can't do this because this is from a student that shared this with me. So, yesterday in class, she was working like a champ but we got to the last light and I'll show you the simulation. I teach students in a lesson and I'll put a link up above if you've never seen it to actually create a remote controlled LED. So when we hit start, button one powers on the LED, button two shuts it off. She got all the way, and I'll turn these all on, so there's one, three, and five to fire them up. She got to the last one where she was doing the code and it didn't work. Now in the middle of class, I couldn't solve it with her, so I had her send me a share link, and when I had a moment to sit down, I could track down that the entire problem was just that when she was aiming for the negative row, she missed and put it in the positive. If she puts it up top, then it'll work like a champ. I'm going to send her a quick screenshot so she knows that. I could also just fix it for her, but I'd like her to learn how to solve it. I'm going to hit stop simulation, and I'm going to show you the code. This is where they learned how to find out what each button was coded to, and then they could put their own codes in it. Now, one of the fun things I saw yesterday, I had one student that got all done and said, hey, Mr. Harmon, can I make one button turn them all on? We had never done that, so we sat down and did some work and figured out that if you had, instead of just one digital write on the button, if you instead had a digital write for each of the ones you were powering, bam, one button could power them up, and then you could set it up for another button, so it powered them all off. You could make them so they had a special sequence so that they blinked, but there's tons of room for you to request more from your students once they learn how to find the numbers for the buttons and then make their own codes for them. So it was really cool, and I just thought I'd take a minute to share it with you. Just a reminder, friends, you can always find these on my YouTube channel. There is a circuits playlist. You can also visit hlmodtech.com, and under Tinkercad, I've got a section just for circuits. And once you get there, you've got my cool micro bit lessons, and then the other level one and level two Tinkercad circuit projects I've created. Friends, if you found this useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.